All right, so this video we're going to look at probability. Uh, we're going to have two events, so we want to know the probability of E and the probability of F. So this, this video contains this event and this event. Okay, they're separated by and. All right, so when, we're, when we have two events, they can either be dependent or independent. If they're dependent, that means the first event can af will affect the second event. Okay. If they're independent, that means the first event will not affect the second event. Okay. So before we get started, we're drawing cards, two cards from a standard deck of 52 cards and we are not replacing the first one so in this in this problem the two events are dependent okay but before we get started let's look at the deck of cards okay we have hearts diamonds spades and clubs and in each one of these the hearts there's a two three four five six seven eight nine ten a jack queen king and an ace and the same thing here there's two through ten a jack queen king ace same thing here there's a two two through ten jack queen king ace and same thing with clubs there's two through ten jack queen king and ace okay so there's 13 hearts okay there's 13 total cards of each suit okay hearts diamond spades and clubs there's 13 of each and the hearts and diamonds are red cards the spades and clubs are black cards okay so let's look at these probabilities so the first one the probability of drawing an ace of spades on the first card and a spade on the second card okay so I'm gonna call drawing an ace of spade event E and a spade event F. So I want to know the probability of E and F. But instead of writing out the word and, I'm going to put this symbol here, which means and, the probability of E and F. Okay. So when we're doing the probability of one event and another event, we multiply the two events together. Okay? So the first thing, I need the probability of E. Okay? Well, that's the probability of an ace of spades. Well, there's only one ace of spades. See, here's the spades, and there's one ace. So the probability is the number of successful outcomes. In this case, the ace of spades, which is 1 over the possible outcomes, 52. And that's because there's 52 cards in the deck. Okay, Times the probability of f. So what's the probability of a spade? Well, there's 13 spades, but remember on the first card we drew the ace of spades, okay? So there's one spade gone, and see we didn't put that card back. So how many spades are there? Well, there's only 12 because the ace of spades is no longer there. It's just the two through king. 
So the number of successful outcomes would be 12 over, and one card is gone. I didn't replace the first card, so instead of 51 cards, I mean, instead of 52 cards, there's 51. So this probability is 12 divided by 52 times 51, which is 0 0.0045. Okay. So how about the next one? The probability of a face card on the first card and a 5 on the second card. Okay, so I need the probability. Well, and let's call the face card event E and the 5 event F. So the probability of E and F. Okay, so what's the probability of a face card? Well, how many face cards are there? See, these are my face cards. Jack, Queen, and King. Okay, so you can see there's three, six, nine, there's 12 face cards. So that's going to be 12 over the number of possible cards, which is 52. So this is the probability of event E times the probability of F, a 5 on the second card. Well, how many 5s are there? There's a 5 of hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs. So there's four fives over, well, how many cards are left? 51, because I did not replace that first card. And so this probability is, is 0 0.0181. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at the third one. The probability the first card is a heart and the second card is red. Okay. All right. So we'll call the first card is a heart. We'll call that event E. The second card is red. We'll call that event F. So the probability of E and F. Okay. So the probability of E that we get a heart. Well, there's 13 hearts. So that would be the number of successful, which is 13, over the number possible, which is 52. And so times the probability we get a red card. Okay. So when we drew the first card, it was a heart, which is a red card. Okay. So there's only 12 hearts because we have a heart on the, we drew a heart on the first one and then we have 13 diamonds so instead of 26 red cards since the first one was a heart that would be 25 over the possible 51 because one card's out we didn't replace it and so this would be we get 0.1225. All right, so now let's take a look at problem two. All right, suppose you draw two cards from a deck of 52. And before you draw the second card, you put the first one back and reshuffle the deck. So let's find the following probabilities. All right, so the probability of an ace on the first card and spade on the second card. Okay, so we'll call the ace event E, the spade event F. So I need the probability of E and F. So what's the probability of E? Well, how many aces are there? There's an ace of heart, diamond, spade, and club. So there's four aces, and there's 52 total cards. All right, and now times the probability of F. Well, how many spades are there? Well, there's 13 spades, 
So that's the number of successful over the number of possible, which is 52. So in this one, it's 52 total cards on the second, the second draw. And that's because we are replacing the first one. We put the first one back. Okay. So, and these events are dependent. Okay. So, that ends up 0 0.0196. Okay, let's look at the second one. A face card on the first and a five on the second. So, we'll call the face card event E, the five event F. So, I need the probability of E and F. So, let's look at the probability of E. Well, how many face cards are there? Well, if you remember from the first problem, there's 12 face cards. We've got Jack, Queen, King of diamonds, hearts, spades, and clubs. Okay, so there's 12 successful outcomes over 52 possible outcomes times, and then a five on the second card. Well, how many fives are there? There's a five of heart, diamond, spade, and club. So there's four fives over the number possible, 52. Okay, because we put the first card back after we drew it. And so this probability is, okay, we get 0 0.0178. And I made a mistake on my calculation on the first one. It should be 0 0.0192. I think I had 0 0.0196, but this one's correct. Okay, now let's look at the last one. Okay, the probability of the first card is a heart, so we'll call that event E, and the second card is red, and the probability that it's red, we'll call that event F. So the probability of E and F so the probability of E that we get a heart, well, how many hearts are in the deck? There's 13 over the number possible, 52. And the probability that we get a red card on the second, well, how many red cards are there? There's 26. Okay, remember in the last problem, we did 25, but that's because we didn't put the card back. But we're putting, we drew a heart, we're putting it back so there's 26 red cards over 52 possible. And this answer is, is 0.125. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.